Hello everyone, welcome back to Fight Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. As you heard, the raid is Gervonta Davis, Devin Haney, and Shakur Stevenson. The matchroom promoter says Devin Haney clearly be the best of the bunch on paper, who is a win over Regis Progress at 140 pounds. Following the official press conference announcing Devin Haney's upcoming fight against Regis Procrace, mushroom promoter Eddie Hearn talks to reporters about his thoughts on Haney and how he would compare him to his contemporaries like Gervonta Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson. Here is some of what Hearn had to say below. Hearn on who is the best between Tank Haney and Stevenson. I'm a big fan of all of them. I think Gervonta Davis is a beast. I think he's very exciting. I think Shakur has a tremendous fundamentals. I think if you are looking at wins, then it's definitely between Devin Haney and the Tank. If you are talking about ability, I mean they are all unbelievably talented and you have to throw Shakur in that mix. But Shakur hasn't been anywhere yet of massive note. I know, the win against Wildes was a big win at Super featherweight, but at lightweight he hasn't beaten anybody yet. And that's not his fault. I do believe he will go on to be a great, but right now if you look at the resumes, you have to say Devin, but the Tank has got a great resume as well. I don't think it's really a camp reason. I think if Devin beats Brock Reese, I think then you are talking about another level of moving up weight classes, beating the top at 140 pounds or arguably the top guy at 140, and a guy that has power as well. I think if you look at Camposos. Neither guy has a destructive power like Regis Progress does. I think that's what makes this fight really intriguing. Here on what he saw in Haney when he tagged him to Matchroom. Just saw a bit of a superstar, really. I like the smile. He is very respectful man. Bill's raised him very well. I mean, Bill has his ups and downs, but you can't question that the job Bill's done with Devin. I mean, it's been unbelievable. And what I like about Bill as well. It's not a total control thing. Like he's willing to bring people in, he's willing to take advice. But what I saw in Davin, in a guy who's completely committed to his craft. And as a promoter, I like working with people like that because you know you're going to get the most out of what you've got. So we'll do the best we can do. You do the best you can do, and God will decide the rest. And with Davin, it's like once you've got a talent that you know. He is going to work hard. I just felt like at the time he was a big a question for us because he was the kind of fighter that we needed and it was really difficult when he had to make that decision to sign with the top rank because they froze us completely. It's a great learning curve, you know. Ludibella really had the keys to make that fight because he had Kambosos. He had this high deal and he didn't want to do it with us. That's uh, the reality. Devin was desperate to do it with us. When I started working with Devin, we had a pack together that he would be my first Irish beauty champion in America. I will always remember he tried and tried and tried and tried to do the deal with us and doesn't. And in the end he found it difficult to tell me and I knew what he had to do. And I said to him, I know you have to do it. And he said to me, I will promise I'll be back. But I said you can't turn this down. He would have had turned it down the opportunity to become undisputed, to stay with me, who could deliver him the undisputed fight. In the process of doing all the about, Richardson Hitchens has managed to share the ring with De Los Santos. From those private sessions, Hitchens walked away incredibly impressed. I think De Los Santos is punching very, very hard and he is skillful explained the teachings. Whether he is better than advertised or not, Shakur Stevenson was hoping to get his hands on someone that would resonate more with fans. It's been a steady progression for him, both in accolades and a star level competition. At least on paper, the Los Santos could be wheeled as a step down, Richardson thought. I doesn't believe that for one second, for those who are under the impression that's everything the Los Santos bring to the table. I think that's a dangerous fight for Shakur Stevenson. I think that's a 50-50 fight. This is the toughest guy Shakur has ever fought, Hitchinson said. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.